What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now today, I think most of you, you knew this was coming. We are finally giving you a green eyeshadow palette. Yes, the Blood Money Collection is here. It's launching November 13th. And today, of course, as normal, as usual, we're gonna unveil everything. We have a new palette, of course. We have a new liquid lipstick bundle. We have new lip glosses and an array of merch. So come dive in and watch the Blood Money reveal. All right, now the Blood Collections, they always give me a chance to really take it there with the packaging. I have done so many things with the trunks and the hexagons. I really wanted to bring it back to the first ever Blood Sugar trunk and give it a full remix. So of course, you guys may have seen a little sneak peek on social media, but the Blood Money trunk, she is next level. I love something that looks really sickening and expensive, so I wanted to give you guys a full experience, of course, as always, with this collection. So we, are, of course, are about to swatch everything, but really exciting news, there is a new product in today's reveal. The first ever Jeffree Star eyeliners, they're here. They're amazing. I'm, of course, wearing on the eyes today, and we're gonna show it to you all in a little bit. But first, let's dive in into the Blood Money palette. With this trunk, I wanted to give it the sim you know, a similar vibe of what we've done before, but look at this new mechanism. So we have a whole new way to open the palette, which we'll show you in a second. We have the beautiful gold hardware on top of the palette, on the sides. And then of course, the blood money emblem in the middle. And I think it turned out perfect. Now we did film the entire process of making the Blood Money palette and that will go up on Instagram TV next week before the reveal. But in this video, you're gonna see behind the scenes of the photo shoot, of course, but I wanted to really show off the palette first. Now when we shot all the beauty images and for the, um, the campaign, we had a 10 foot alligator on set. We had, uh, we rented this beautiful house in Beverly Hills. We had the sickest models and the entire team really, really, really took it there. Um, so before we open up this palette, we're gonna take you on set from the Blood Money photo shoot. Take a peek. Oh my God, just re-watching that footage, I, I'm obsessed. It was so fun. Now the last shot of all the models covered in gold, they really, like their whole bodies were covered in glitter. It was so epic and me being in a bathtub full of jewels was probably uh, the highlight of 2020 for <laughs> me. Um, but the wrapped mint Brinks truck, like I wanted all the elements of kind of like a money heist at like a crazy mansion. And normally we always build really crazy iconic sets like Velvet Trap and everything uh, before that. But sometimes you just have to go somewhere and really get that over the top, like larger than life personality. And that house was definitely serving that. Um, and I had a crazy backstory, which Google it later. But all right, you guys, it's time to dive in into the Blood Money palette. All right, you guys, I think we've waited long enough. It's time to open her up. Now this palette, of course, it has a new lock mechanism. Every palette is different. Now this one is so easy. You just take your finger and on the left button, you just move it like that, literally. It is that simple. And as soon as it moves to the right, you can easily just open up the palette and bam, it is open. All right, so introducing the Blood Money Artistry Palette. Yeah! Woo, yes. Now this palette, I'm giving you the full green fantasy. I know that this has been such a highly requested palette. A lot of you were making artwork and crazy shades um, to get me to be inspired to do it. And baby, it was already in the works. You know I wasn't playing games. So here is the Blood Money palette. Let's swatch everything. But what do you guys think? What is your first impressions? 
I am so excited for this. And of course today, it is doused all over my eyes. I'm wearing nothing but this palette and it's giving you the full green Envy experience. Now this palette, of course, just like the others, will be retailing for $52. There is 18 shades, like most of the trunks. I know Bloodlust was a little weird of a shape, um, but this does have 18 shades. There's only one pressed pigment, which is Poison Ivy, and everything else is an actual eye shadow. Um, I know a lot of you guys ask about that, so let's get to swatching. All right, so let's go down the first top row. Now, this palette, I wanted to do all sorts of different hues of greens and just get really weird. So let's start off from left to right. Of course, we have Divine Intervention. This is a stunning icy white green pearl. It has such a beautiful shift to it. It could be, of course, anywhere on the eye, but as a highlighter on the body, it looks absolutely stunning. Now, second, of course, we have Mint Condition, which is a straight up matte, true mint shade. Of course, it has the credit card emoji uh, with the little Jeffree Star twist in the stamp of the pan. Now, the third shade is called Chameleon Fetish. It is a obnoxiously bright neon green chartreuse color. Um, I love it. I'm wearing this today over here on the eye. It's blended up in here and it looks so pretty. Now, fourth, we have Poison Ivy. It is a straight up just hot green metallic. It is beautiful. I love the shade and I'm wearing it, of course, on the lid with some extreme frost packed on top of it. Um, but it is so pretty. Now, next we have Make it rain. It is a really true like granny apple matte green. It is really pretty. It's on the cool tone side um, and it's giving you like just earth green vibes. Now, last but not least on this row, we have Crocodile Tears, which is of course named after one of my liquid lipsticks. And it is just a really bright, but also kind of dark and weird green at the same time. And this row just by itself could have been a palette. But of course, you know, I had to do a lot more, but here's the first row. All right, now let's talk about the second row. The first shade is called Equity. It is a beautiful, stunning, army matte green and then listen the these next ones may be my favorite in the palette i don't know but this one is called money heist of course you guys see the ski mask imprint in the pan it is just giving you everything and it really gives you a weird alien type of throwback vibe but with the newness now the next one is called ceo now it is just a beautiful straight up really true gold i didn't want this palette to look really like crazy in the sense of like St. Patrick's Day or leprechauns or anything like that. I wanted this to really stand out on its own so I didn't want to have a bunch of gold in this palette. So this is giving you the one motherfucking gold that you need in this palette. Now the next shade is called Emerald Estate. It is a really really icy just really emerald green and it has beautiful uh, reflex of silver glitter in there and it looks absolutely just gorgeous um, on the lid. Now, the last two shades in this row are both matte. This one is a really true Tiffany color. It's called Heavy Weighted. Um, and the next one is called Jaded, which is a really just true jade matte, matte shadow. And all together, they look insane. All right, now let's swatch the final row. Now, the first shade is called Private Island. It is a really beautiful earth-toned, really warm brown that this palette definitely needed with all of these crazy greens. Now, the next shade is called Self Made. It is a really beautiful forest matte green and it looks so pretty with the rest of these shades. Now, the next one is called Tax Free and it is just a really cool green metallic with a really nice gold undertone and it's really unique. All right, the next shade is called Persuasion and it is a, it's, it's, it's giving me army, but it's also a really nice khaki green to complement all the other shades. And then of course the fifth one is called Secret Stash. It has that um, money safe stamped into the pan and it's just giving you a full on extraterrestrial moment. Now, the sixth and final shade of the palette is called Black Card Limit. It is a true matte black with beautiful green glitter in the formula that actually stands out and looks cool when you, uh, when you use it so the sparkle doesn't go away. Um, and yeah, here is the Blood Money Palette. What do you guys think? 
All right, now of course I had to do, bam, a mini velour liquid lipstick bundle. I love green lipsticks. I know they're not for the everyday wear, but maybe they are. So I'm not giving you just one new shade, I'm giving you five in this bundle. So let's take a peek. Woo! And here they are. Now, normally they're in pink, of course, packaging, but I really wanted to give you the full green fantasy. So this time with the minis, let's pop out one. This shade is called Bank Roll. It is in a new component that is mint with the green foil. I love how this turned out. And it just gives you a just different type of vibe. So let's go over all the new shades. The first one is, of course, Bank Roll. It is this gorgeous, stunning, shimmery green frost and I'm obsessed with it. I might be wearing this every day. Now the next shade is called Dead Presidents. It is a really cool mustard green and it's like Dirty Money's uh, older amazing uh, uh, cooler sister basically. Um, now the next shade is called High Society. It is just a straight up pale true mint color. Um, and of course, if you don't know, you can use these lipsticks for eyeliner. They are eye safe, so they're really good for a liner in the waterline. They're very uh, multifaceted. All right, the next shade is called, of course, Dirty Money. Like I just mentioned, we had to throw this one in here. This is so good to ombre together. Dirty Money and High Society go together so well. All right, next new shade is called Special Order. Now, Special Order is a neutral mustard orange. It's really unique, um, and it's not for the faint of heart. Now, the next one is a new shade as well. It is called Deep Pockets. It is a really nice, medium, warm tone brown. Um, and you have to have some brown lipsticks with all this green. So of course the next one we have Crocodile Tears, which we have had for a few years now. Had to bring it back, it's one of my staples. And of course, last but not least, we have Shade Karma, which is just a really cool olive green and I have been wearing this shade for years now and I love it. So here is the Green Velour Liquid Lipstick Mini Bundle. All right, now of course, you, you all know the famous The Gloss formula in Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So with this collection, we have four brand new limited edition shades. We have everything in this stunning new mint packaging with the green foil and the component for this. Oh, it turned out so good. It looks so pretty. I love it. The packaging team really killed it. And these are really fun. They're a little different, but they all are giving you the blood money vibe. So let's just start off with the first shade. This is called blood money. You ha we had to have a BM gloss. Um, so I'm going to swatch these all right now on my hands. Let's get to it. All right. Now, of course, blood money. This gloss is very unique. Let's give it a little swatch. Bam. Now, this shade is taupe with a blue and green reflex. It's so pretty. All right, now the next gloss is called Paid in Full. It is a really pretty pinky nude with green and gold reflex. I love this one. I've secretly been wearing it for weeks. And, oh, it is so stunning. Now, the third shade is called Peach Price Tag. It is my version of peach in the Blood Money version, so you have green and gold glitter in here as well. I love this shade. I know I'm going to say that about all of them, but just the way it turned out, oh, it is so dreamy. And those green glitter reflex just look insane on the mouth. All right, now the fourth and final shade for the gloss. It is called Untouchable. It is a true chocolate shade, and there is no glitter in this one, so it's the only one that doesn't have any shimmer to it. All right, here is Untouchable Swatched. It may look a little streaky on my hand, but it is really stunning on the lips, and it's just gonna give you this really nice chocolate glossy finish. All right, those are the four limited edition shades of the gloss, and of course, these will always be retailing for $18. Now. Let's dive into the new Jeffree Star eyeliners. All right, it's time to unveil, bam, the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Automatic Eyeliner. Now, I have never made an eyeliner before. It was time, and I know maybe it should have had a huge launch on its own, but I wanted to sneak in a new formula and a new collection and see what you guys thought. So here is the packaging, of course. It comes in this beautiful foiled mint green box. The shade names for everything will be here, and there are 
five shades. These, of course, will be retailing for $20. And when you open up the box, it is really easy. Bam, it is just like this. The eyeliner is sitting in there, really easy to grab. And of course, you could put it back there if you still wanna use the box. I love keeping packaging, not just because it's mine, but because it's cute. But here is what the eyeliner looks like. It is really sleek. It is very like James Bond. It's giving you a full Jeffree Star moment. And I wanted it in really nice packaging that was just easy to use. We all know what an eyeliner is. Bam, it comes off, but this is an automatic one. So you simply just roll it. It is easy peasy. And the formula, I love it. Of course, it's in my waterline. It's all over my eyes. We're gonna swatch these for you right now and also show you eye swatches. We know I'm the queen of love swatches, my model. Jasmina has been killing it for years and now we're doing some eye swatches. So let's dive into all five shades. All right, now the first shade is a bright lime green and it's called Money Counter. I am gonna throw up some eye swatches, of course, so here's what the shade looks like. All right, now this formula is really creamy. It goes on super easy. It wears all day and I am so proud of this formula. So I can't wait to see what you guys think of it. Let's try shade two. All right, this shade is called Assets. It is a really nice forest green and it is just straight up real true green. All right, now the next shade is called Armored Truck. It is a really pretty bluish brown with a really cool hue to it. Now, of course, all the eyeliners will have the color um, on the end of the cap in case you get them all. You will see, of course, that the bottoms all have the shades on them. All right, now here is what Armored Truck looks like. It is so pretty and it's just really unique. I might have to swatch this on my hands so you guys can even see what it looks like in this lighting. But it's such a cool shade with such a different shift to it. All right, now the next shade is called Resting Rich Face and it is a really beautiful army khaki green. I love this shade. This is so good to smoke out the under eye and really use the shadows from the palette to just give you that really cool dramatic look. All right, and the fifth and final shade of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics automatic eyeliner are called Cold Digger. This is a beautiful, true, rich chocolate brown. So if you love brown eyeliner and you kind of shy away from black, this is gonna be the shade for you. All right, so those are all five shades of the automatic eyeliners. I am so excited for you guys to play with this formula and I can't wait to see what you guys think. All right, now for the Blood Money Collection, we have two new shades of the Extreme Frost formula. I think this is one of my favorite formulas of all time. This is a blinding, crazy highlighter. So if you're not really into highlighting, you may want to fast forward, but this is probably the most blinding highlight in the world, and there are two new shades. So the first one is called Stripper Magic. Now, <laughs> this um, formula, it's really crazy. You guys know it comes in a jewelry box like uh, this. It has the sleeve with the shade names on the back. I really wanted everything to be just really mint and just really sexy for this one. So let's look at the shade. As well as being a new shade, of course, we have the limited edition mint chrome packaging and we have a new design in the pan. Let's pop her out and let's take a peek. All right, now of course you guys know this is a product that costs $50 retail. It comes in this stunning box. This product will last you almost a lifetime. There's so much inside of it. So here is what the new pan looks like. I wanted to give you like a coin vibe, of course, very money. And we have the blood money symbol in here with all new artwork. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. Now this shade is a very high shiny platinum with a little reflex of green in it. All right, now this is, you barely touch it. It's like a one, two, bam, and it is really glittery. I'm actually wearing it on my cheeks today. All right, now the second shade, of course, it comes in a darker green box. It is called Cold Hard Cash. And this is the more mature, hot gold version of the first one. Bam, that is what it looks like. It is so pretty. If you ever have my Supreme Frost shade, Money Honey, this one is a little similar, but way more blinding. All right, let's give it a little swatch and then you guys can see the tone of it. It is so pretty. All right, so those are the two new Extreme Frost shades. Now, this shade is called Stoned because you know Mama loves to smoke. And this lip balm is new. It's a little different than the Shane one that we launched last year. This is infused with um, sativa cannabis oil. It is really, really hydrating. And when you open it up, don't worry, it does not turn your lips green. It, of course, is clear when you swatch it. But it is really pretty. It smells like vanilla creme brulee. And of course, when you swatch it, it is clear. 
and it is so yummy. I am obsessed with this formula and I cannot wait for you guys to try this one. All right, you guys, so that was all the makeup in the Blood Money collection. Of course, everything will be down below in the description, all the prices, the product descriptions, and all the shade names with what the hell they actually are. So let's dive in to the accessories. Now, with this collection, I didn't do a star mirror. I did a brand new shape. This looks like a stunning coin, and it comes in a beautiful, like, olive chrome and also a matte green. All right, now, besides the mirrors, we also have a brand new backpack style. This is, of course, faux crocodile print. It, it's just giving you that full fantasy. And this is in the vanilla crocodile. I also have a green shade, of course, over there. And I love it. These look really high fashion. It has really big zipper details. It fits a lot of stuff in here. And there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of room, bitch. Let's open her up. All right, so inside, it is really bright pink. It has the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logos printed everywhere. It has room for storage. There is straps here for closures and just a lot of room. I just wanted something way more bigger, a little less feminine than normal because this collection is just it, baby. Um, so of course this comes in the vanilla crocodile and the green. All right, now of course we have our famous travel bag in a brand new mint shade, of course, with all gold hardware. You guys really love these travel bags. They're really good for just putting in all the pallets, especially the trunks. So of course these retail for $30. And then of course we have a brand new faux crocodile crossbody. I love her, it's so, it's such a good dark emerald shade, of course, with the gold JSC logo. And this is perfect for wearing on a crossbody. It has extra space in the back or you can wear it as a fanny pack and just do you. And of course, these ones retail for 50. All right, now I didn't go too merch crazy with this launch, but there are a few new hoodies. We are finally getting into some fall weather. It's been 90 degrees in LA for so long, I forgot what else existed, but it's finally in the low 60s. I could cry. So here is the, uh, the new Blood Money tie-dye hoodie. I am obsessed with these. We've been making these for years and I just love tie-dye. So of course, it has the new gold logo and it just looks sickening. All right, now we had to do a bomber with this collection because hello, it's blood money. So here is this season's bomber jacket. Now the detailing on the back matches the extreme frost emblem in the pan and I just love how this turned out. It is beautiful. Now every jacket does come with a hanger as well. So it comes right out of the box and right into the closet. All right, everyone, so this concludes the full reveal and swatches of the Blood Money Collection. Let's do a little recap. Everything you saw in today's video will, of course, be available on November 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, everything, of course, will be down below in the description, all the prices, the launch date, and all the shade names. There are a few items in today's video, like the Extreme Frost and a few of the merch items that will be available exclusively on jeffreestarcosmetics.com. But everything else in this video will, of course, be on all of my retail partners. And if you don't know who they are, you can go to the FAQ section of my website, and everyone is listed. Um, now, of course, you guys, Blood Money, she's here. She's around the corner. I am so excited for this collection. I am just living for the full green fantasy, and this is just giving me everything that I needed. So I know it's been an insane year. Thank you guys so much for supporting Jeffree Star Cosmetics in such a huge way. We have a lot more coming. Holiday is going to be insane, but... We're in blood money season, and if you're a Scorpio, hello. My birthday is November 15th, so hello, Scorpio season. Now, blood money, she's here, and I cannot wait for everyone to get, just get this and play with it in their hands. I'm so proud of the packaging, and the team, of course, killed it, and I'm just so proud of it. So, I'll see you guys on November 13th. Thank you for watching. Mwah. Bye, guys.